back to Low Kick MMA. My name is Alex Lerman, and today I am joined by Andreas the Spartan Mikalaidis. How are you doing today, Andreas? Good, good. Everything's good, bro. How are you? Good, good. No, I'm pretty well. Thanks for asking. So we're about one week removed um, fighting in the Tip Sport Game Changer Tournament, the $1 million tournament. And in the opening round, you got a unanimous decision victory over Apollo Silva. Um, mm -hmm. How are you feeling from this fight? We're just a week out. Are you physically, uh, you know, back to recovery? Are you good? No, I'm uh, good. I didn't have any injuries. Maybe some bruises in the, you know, under my eye or something. Not, not something uh, serious. So I get into this training after three days. I already started to uh, preparing, you know, for the next battle. <laughs> oh wow! Right, right back at it already. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, um, let's talk about that fight for a second. So, how would you, uh, how would you rate your performance? Well, uh, uh, I, I like my performance. Okay, I, I like it. Maybe if I, uh, if I, I could like prevent one, two takedowns, which he takes me down. This is what I didn't like, but everything else was like, like our strategy. My strategy is like to you know to keep him in distance, you no, know, and strike him. And I did it well, so I have the most uh, significant uh, strikes, and uh, that helped me to win the match. Absolutely. Um, now, during this fight, at any point, were you surprised by anything you saw from your opponent? Well, uh, he's like, uh, I, I was very surprised when I, because I, like, what I surprised, not 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 surprised, but uh, I, I I didn't expect him to be so tough. You know, he was very tough uh, and very cold blooded. He didn't like you. You couldn't see any emo emotions. You know. He was hiding it very well. He didn't. He did, He didn't show if he was hurt or something, and uh, he always uh, go forward. So yeah. All right. So um, obviously got the win there in the opening round. Moving on mm -hmm. now to the quarterfinals. Before we get to that fight, which I know is already booked, um, how have your experiences so far been with the Octagon promotion? Oh, uh, it's a very good promotion. Like they uh, treat the fighters very well. Very organized uh and very very good promotion though like it's it reminds a lot of ufc you know mm -hmm. uh, everything is set up very good uh our meals everything 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 is good that's great to hear I... sorry go ahead well what i said go ahead go ahead sorry i didn't mean to cut you off no 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 uh I'm, i don't have to say something else it is very good like uh and all the organization there, everything like, yeah, you did. They didn't miss nothing. You didn't miss. You like an athlete. You didn't miss nothing. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So, um, obviously now fighting in Europe, um, closer to home for you. How does this feel? And what has this been like? You know, so uh, your some of your fans in your home country have had an opportunity to get a little closer to see your fights more. Uh, what is that? What is that like to you? Oh, it's 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 very good. It it feels very good. Uh, and uh. Some of my fans uh, get like uh, to come to my, my fight, and this time in uh, Germany, there's gonna be a lot of Greek fans there because they have a, a big Greek uh, community there in Germany, and also many guys from many many of my friends want to fly you now to Germany to see me fight there. So it's it's very it's very it's very nice, you know. Wonderful. You feel that energy. That's great. That's awesome. I'm sure you're very excited for that to have all those people yeah. in your corner. Of course, of course. So, um, my next question. Um, so obviously, since leaving the UFC, uh, two years ago, you got this win in Octagon. Uh, what changes have you made since leaving the UFC in both your fighting style and your lifestyle, if any? Uh, I didn't change a lot of my lifestyle. Uh. The the truth is, I was not very, I was not very lucky in my you no know, in my in my in my UFC like my UFC like curry how do you want, say how do you want, but uh, because my first fight uh, it was a uh, for me it was a robbery I don't know if you watch it like with elbows and the illegal elbows in the head, after that I get a win, after that okay, I was fighting with Alex Pereira and you know, I was. 
I was winning the round, though. I was winning the round. I was winning the first round. The second round, he got me with a knee. But, yeah, and after that, I fought with Renat Fakredino, very good fighter. I didn't perform well. I, it, I was, like, I was nervous. I was, like, coming from a loss. It wasn't Andreas who usually, you know, come within the fight. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, I put more training. I put more training. I'm more, more motivated now for the tournament. And uh, maybe I'm not that nervous now, you know. Now I'm out of the side, not much, no too much pressure now, and it's 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 helped me more. I don't know. It's... That's great. Yeah, it's always good to keep the composure and uh, and stay yeah. calm. Absolutely. Um. So obviously, a ch big change for you since the the India Alex Pereira fight is the change in weight class. Now fighting at welterweight instead of what you used to fight at middleweight. Have you noticed any changes from weight uh from the weight change? Uh yeah, look, uh I I I, I noticed the uh, I'm better in my stamina, my stamina get better and better. And uh, okay, maybe I lose a little of uh, power, but I'm faster right now and I have better stamina, so I think it's it suits me, it suits me more this uh, category. And would you rather have the increased speed or the increased power? Increased speed and uh, increased time, sure. Right, yeah. I I I hundred percent agree. I think it's very valuable yeah. to have that speed and the explosiveness. You know. Yeah, of course. So uh, moving on now. Um, obviously your eyes are set on winning this tournament and progressing through this tournament. But uh, what are your future goals in MMA? And do you uh do you look to return to the UFC at some point? Uh you know I would like uh, to be honest I would like to run it uh, back maybe and uh, now but I I just want to like to perform well that's 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 what I want because uh, like I didn't show UFC who, who I am like one hundred percent okay I was a little bit of lucky a bit of okay my fault maybe I didn't perform well because I was nervous and stuff may yeah I would like to do it. But right now, I'm not even thinking about it uh, because now my eyes, like, everything is, like, in the tournament, all my mind is there. So I, I don't even think about it. So maybe, who knows, maybe if I win the tournament, you know, I, have, I will have, like, four uh, wins, win streak, you know, four win streak. So I don't know. I don't know. But honestly, I like Octagon. I like I like it. I like it very much. Uh, yeah. That's great. I'm, I'm very glad you're comfortable where you're at now after, you know, taking a few losses in a row, but that's yeah, great. Yeah. Getting back to uh, the Andreas we know and love. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So um, next question, I know you've uh, mentioned in some recent media availability that MMA is growing in Greece and you've seen a lot of growth of the sport in general over there. Uh, what message do you have for young MMA athletes over there that are looking to make it big and follow in your footsteps? Oh, it's, uh, it's easy, brother. Like you have, you have to have faith and train, you know, have faith on doing a train and and uh, every day like to be focused on what you're doing and eventually you're gonna you're gonna make it eventually you're gonna make it like sooner or later though you know the co consistency is that wins you know all right so um now let's move on to the fight coming up i know you already have that booked even just a week after fighting um you're fighting grabinski mm -hmm. over in germany have you uh, have mm -hmm. you had a chance to study your opponent yet? What do you make of him? Yeah, of course, I, I study I study him. Uh, he's a he's a tough tough guy. He's a very tough guy. Uh, he has a decent like takedown defense. He does he did he doesn't want to to wrestle a lot. He prefers striking. Uh, I think he he hits uh, hard enough, and he's uh, accurate. But I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with that. Like I don't think he's better in striking uh, than Apollo. You no, know? mm -hmm. Apollo has uh, better head movement. You know, he strike, he changes guards. He's more complicated guy than than this uh, than Grabinski. You no, know? mm -hmm. also Grabinski coming. Uh, yeah, like Apollo, but he's coming from. Uh, he was fighting on the. Uh, he was fighting lightweight, you know. Uh, I he, think that's right. Yeah, I'm not totally sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, uh, I think I have the reach advantage. I have the. I'm high. I'm, I'm more tall, and uh, I think I'm gonna be bigger, also. 
That's good. That's good to have the advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna um, be bigger. Uh, how do you see night. yourself? How, sorry, how do you see yourself winning the fight? Do you see yourself getting a finish, or uh, you know, going to another decision? How do you how do you see it playing out? Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, man. You know. Every time you think you know you're gonna finish something, something and something, you know it's it's not working. Sometimes you don't you don't even think about the finish. The finish come out of nowhere, you know. Mm -hmm. It's you can't you can't like uh, you can't tell now uh, because. But I think, but I think I I I I don't know. I think something like tell me is not gonna be a three round fight. But you know, it's another thing. It's another thing to. Think about it, and that's I think it's happened. You know. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's yeah. much easier, much easier said than done. Yeah, and uh, even with Apollo, I I throw a spinning back kick. It didn't get him well. If he he get him well, it's gonna be finished. You know. So, uh, sometimes you you didn't expect some. You throw something you didn't expect it to you know to connect and it connects and it's over. And sometimes you know you try to connect and it never connect. You both go uh, gas out and then it goes like three. Three rounds. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Anything can happen. Now, um, yeah. I will ask this though: What would you rather happen? Would you rather get a quick finish, or would you rather uh, dominate him for all three rounds? No, I think uh, I'll take the finish because you know you don't want to be get injured. You know, yeah. because we go, we go, we can't, we going closer and closer, and uh, three rounds is three rounds. Like I was lucky; I didn't get any injury right now. You know, it's fighting like you you're hitting shin to shin. You know, uh, elbows, everything. You know, uh, this this one it was very good fight. It was one of the how to say it's, uh, not not many times I didn't get like uh, an injury in the fight. So and this is one of them. So it was good, but uh, usually you no know, in three five minute rounds you can get cut. Something gonna happen. So if it's going to be easier the best it's the best for me you know absolutely make it quick and easy get out of there with yeah, that yeah, yeah. And yeah. And go and go forward yeah yeah mm -hmm. i totally understand that so yeah. now um moving on we got some big events going on in the ufc and i wanted to ask your opinion or per, for your predictions on what's going to happen <laughs> so in your weight class at welterweight this coming weekend we have kamaru usman against leon edwards the trilogy how do you see this one playing out who do you got Oh, I think Kamara gonna win this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think uh, I, I'm not gonna say he was lucky, you know, Edwards, and because this is what you do: you you throw kicks, you throw punches, and whatever connect. That's that's our sport. Mm -hmm. So if one connect, you can't say he was lucky. You know, this is not something like lucky punch. When you throw fifty kicks and like one hundred punches and one lands, it's not lucky. You try to do it so. It was not luck, but I think uh, this fight, like, Kamar will come more composed with some good strategy and he's gonna like he's gonna win this one. You got Usman, but but still, you never know, you know. But I think it's gonna be Usman. All right. So one more for you. Uh, since you've been in the cage with him, as we talked about before, Pereira, we have Israel Adesanya against Alex Pereira. <laughs> I think that's number two in MMA, but the fourth time they're yeah. facing off in combat sports. Yeah. How about this one? Who you got? Oh, I think Pereira gonna do it again. I, 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 I knew it. Go, he gonna do it in the in the, the first one also, but I thought it's gonna be easier. You know? Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. All uh, easy, almost knock him out, huh? <laughs> Wow. If the, if it was in the first round or the second which one almost easy knock him out like yeah it, it was I think it was in the first round so yeah I think I think uh, Pereira gonna win this one also I think he's on the uh, Israel's head right now you know when mm -hmm. a guy knock out two times and win you three I don't care whatever you say. You may say okay I'm I'm like I'm ready I don't care but inside in your head you already, you know, yeah, it's already messed up. It's a big you know? game, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very difficult. You know, sometimes you lose one by decision and you think about it. And, okay, how are going to win this guy? Now we, we're talking like two knockouts, you know, one decision. It's it's very hard. 
And uh, I think it's gonna be affect him. And I think I think Pereira gonna win. Though, so. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So you got Usman Pereira. Sweet. So, uh, Andreas, really appreciate you coming on. That's all I got for you today. Before I let you go, though, would you like to plug in any social medias or any sponsors that you want to shout out before we get going? Uh, I'll get leg, leg. Give me a second because someone's calling. No, uh, no. Uh, no. I don't. My Instagram, maybe. <laughs> Address Michael. Like, follow me. For more news, I don't know about me. Whoever, whoever wanna see me fighting or what. No, I don't. And I won't, I'm not gonna mention any sponsor. So it's okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks again, Andres, for coming on. I really I wish you the best of luck in your training camp coming up for that fight against Grabinski. Looking forward to seeing you take the top of that tournament and uh, hopefully getting back to the UFC soon. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Have you a nice so match. much. You too. Thanks. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA. Hey, how's everyone doing today? Welcome.